well i had all my stuff out to do a feed and i figured it'd be a good time to um do the video for herp and socal's 100 subscriber contest he's a pretty cool kid y'all go check him out subscribe if you're not subscribed he's made it over 100 subscribers and uh, i enjoy his videos he's been one of my subscribers since early on and uh so i figured hey i'd go ahead and do the video i got all this stuff out my chicks and rats and stuff and some roaches now i just got to figure out who i'm gonna feed uh you know during my video so y'all stay tuned hope it's a good one what are you doing sitting here brainstorming trying to think of what i was going to do for herp and socal's 100 subscriber contest um i wanted to do something really cool i, I thought about maybe doing the monitor because I had a subscriber ask me for an update on the monitor so let's go check it out all right yeah I mean maybe we should do him you know do a feeding video of him think so <laughs> I don't know I mean I had a youtuber ask me you know for an update on him but dang it Herb and SoCal said like a, your most naturalistic his tanks really not that naturalistic I mean I'm sure that they'd like to see how he's doing, but... You want to do somebody I, else? Yeah, let's just go do somebody else. This is just... I'm just not feeling it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, let's go do somebody else. Yeah, the, I mean, the water monitor is a good idea, and I mean, he's cool, but his enclosure just really doesn't fit that realistic profile. Um, maybe the Savannah. Let's go, let's go check out the Savannah. We'll try it. That, his That's tank's pretty idea. realistic. Yeah, let's go do the Savannah. Yeah, I mean, the Savannah monitor, his enclosure is more naturalistic, and we could probably do a feeding video of him. You know, he's not really shy on camera or anything. Uh, domino that cat is pretty funny cat. yeah I mean it is kind of naturalistic you know a little more naturalistic than the water monitor but I just I just don't know if I'm feeling it or not what do you think domino are you feeling it yeah No, no, I, I think we should, I really think we should just do something else. I just, I cannot make my mind up on this one. It is really, really driving me insane. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go do something else. All right. So, not the water monitor, and not the Savannah. No, I mean, the Savannah's was pretty realistic, you know, but, I mean, I just, they didn't seen the Savannah, I wanted something different, you know, I mean, I, I noticed that the green tree had shed, I mean, he's got a pretty, he's got a pretty realistic, uh, pretty realistic enclosure. That's um, true. Let's go check him out. What you think? Yeah, I mean, I think I think this is a pretty good idea. I mean, this enclosure is pretty realistic here. Uh, natural wood and bamboo, and I mean, we'll do, try to do a feeding clip of him and maybe see how this one That's turns out. That's a good out. idea. Yeah, I mean, he just shed. He's got a shed right there. I'm sure he'll eat. Yeah, I figured he would. Yep, he's got a shed all stretched out, and he's doing really good. He's really getting green, but, well, you know, baby, I thinking about it I just I just had a clip of him in another video this just ain't gonna work either we gotta do something different are you I'm, sure I'm sorry but yeah we need to do something different all right let's go find something still just I really want to make a really good feeding video for this contest you know and I was just thinking you know in the last videos what have I used I, I mean I just showed him the pixie frog eating
I just they just saw the budgets for all weed, I'm sure, not too long ago, so I can't use that. And I thought about a tarantula because we got some pretty realistic tarantula enclosures, but I just use them in videos too. But you know, inside, I think I got one enclosure that that might work. Let's let's go inside real quick. This will be the last one, baby. I promise. I won't run you no more. We'll we'll try that one out real quick. Come on, let's go inside and try that. I don't know why I didn't think about this one in the beginning. The frill dragon. You know, he's he's an awesome critter, and his enclosure really looks realistic. I mean, this might fit all the criteria that Herp and SoCal was looking for. Um, we could do like a feeding video with him, probably. Let's see if I can give him a doobie roach without getting my fingers tore up. That'll probably be cool. <laughs> he is such an aggressive little eater. Yeah, I bet Herp and SoCal would love this enclosure for it. See if I can really get a close up. That was pretty cool right there. That was a that was a good bug, ain't it, buddy? Yep, that was a really good bug. You want one more? Here. Oh, I got one on my finger. Yeah, I think the frill dragon, yeah, I think we should. We should use him as our entry for the contest and his enclosure. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. Well, yeah, I guess. Well, let's go. Let's go back to the reptile room and think about it. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll go. Let's go think about it. I think this one's a good one. I don't know. All right. We'll see. All right, guys. Uh, I couldn't make up my mind, so uh, Herp and SoCal is your contest, bud. Uh, you just let me know which one you like the best. Uh, I've always wanted to do a video like that. Uh, I know it might have been kind of corny. <laughs> I hope so, because that's uh, kind of what I was going for. Uh, it was really fun to do that. I wanted to do a feeding video, and I really couldn't decide what to do, and I come up with that. So I, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to Herpa SoCal, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link also for him. Um, that was really fun. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed it, guys. And uh, really appreciate y'all watching. And I guess we'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.